So Natalie, how are you feeling? A little disappointed. You meant to say petrified. Oh, oops. So Natalie, do you want to tell everyone where we are? So many Brits here, which is strange. We've seen a few on the roof, but they're all here. All of them are here. All of the British are here, guys. <laughs> you know, I probably watched some YouTube video that I took for fact. Yeah. I read this in the leaflet, so the stuff I'm telling you is true. So I thought as we're touring this, I may as well, you know, give you a tour of the graffiti whilst we're here. Something does look quite cool, I'm gonna be honest, but uh, yeah, there's some amazing things here. People have written their, you know, most inner secrets and things. For example, this guy here loves penis. Good morning. morning. It's very early on day 12 of our Route 66 trip. Uh, yesterday we went off to, uh, well, we came back from Monument Valley back onto Route 66, and we are here in, uh, where is this? Holbrook yeah. at the Wigwam Motel, which I have to say was very comfortable. It was, surprisingly, yes. Yeah. The only issue is that we can't get coffee anywhere. There's no coffee machines in the room and the office isn't open and it's not a good thing. I think 95% of the world has, has coffee in the morning, so I'm gonna deduct a point for that. <laughs> uh, also, the only other thing I didn't like was that the ceiling Wasn't was too all the low. way to the I top. I wanted to look up into the top, but let's be positive. Like, it was very good. It was really affordable. It was a really cool experience. The cars around here are great. We sat out and had a few drinks last night. Yes. And we loved every minute of it, so that was cool. Today we have lots of stops lots of things lots of things to see so the first stop is mcdonald's for a coffee because there's one just up the road on the way to our first stop <laughs> yeah and there's a place just up here so we're going to ram a whole bunch of stuff in this video for day 12. yeah so let's get going and stop waffling on So Natalie, how are you feeling? A little disappointed. You meant to say petrified. Oh, oops. So we're in the petrified forest. Actually, we're not in it because it's $20 a vehicle and we don't have time to really enjoy it. No. Like there's loads of hikes and things like that. Um, and it's $20 There's a big loop that you drive around and go for hikes. And one, I'm not hiking in the bike gear because it is really hot today which is weird because it was freezing two days ago um so yeah we're here at the visitor center which is very interesting and it's interesting how it's called the petrified forest because i always thought that was uh they were just scared trees ha huh. it's uh, it, there's no trees uh, that's i was thought it'd be a forest it's not natalie said is it those four trees over there <laughs> okay so here's the deal one thing you know when people say like when you say how are you feeling you say petrified it means scared i think right petrified means turned into stone so i think that that uh, came from people saying oh i'm scared stiff because you're so you can't move so people say you're petrified okay i think that's where the word came from i haven't googled that just off the top of my head absolutely <laughs> so anyway it's very fascinating um because basically what happened is there was a forest 65 million years ago mm. right and then the trees they would fall down I'm hoping I get this right. Please correct me if I get this wrong, right? So the trees would eventually fall down and they'd fall into like a riverbed and then they'd get covered in rock and volcanic ash and because it's 65 million years ago, right? It was dinosaur country, right? Before humans. Because it was like, you know, in the mud and all of this lot, there was no oxygen. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't rot because part of, you know, rotting is, is having oxygen. And so what would happen was as the tree, it did rot over <laughs> thousands and millions of years, okay. like really, really, really slowly. But as it, because it was rotting so slowly, all of the mineral deposits replaced actually where the wood was. Right. So the wood caught on. So eventually it turned into stuff like what we're sat on here. Stone. And it's basically stone. Beautiful. So they're stone trees. 
but yeah. they're not stone because they're minerals and Mineral trees. I did have a list of all the minerals that it could be and there's many others but yeah it's basically it's a natural phenomenon that doesn't happen many places but there is a ton of them here um, yeah. We'll the other show thing you is, a few here because we're not going to the actual forest today. We're not actually going in, but they do have examples out yeah. and about here. And do you know some of them can cost? You can buy like a big table because some of the trees were huge. Okay. So you can buy like a big table of petrified forest wood and they're like $100,000. I can imagine so, yeah. Some of them go for like $1,000, obviously the smaller ones, but it's all apparently in the preparation. I That's guess very so. cool. Yeah. I just have one of these little stools. They're comfortable. Yeah, it is quite comfortable. <laughs> Nelly just mentioned that it's been a while since we watched the WAGS episode on the petrified forest. They actually went in, so go check that out. But we think we just stole the same joke. <laughs> so, sorry guys if we did. Uh, yeah. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. It was a good joke. Yeah. Like, it was a good joke. So, yeah, thanks for that. Go check out the way. You totally missed out. Did I? Yeah. Why? Because I saw some petrified trees. I'm gutted. Thought you would be. But at least all our stuff's here. Our stuff is here, yeah. John's not feeling too well. He's all right. Just got a bit of a runny nose. Got Natalie's cold, I think. Yeah. No one can say that Natalie doesn't share. Yeah. Natalie shares everything. No. So as we were leaving the petrified forest we just stopped for a drink here at gas station uh, and somehow the cable snapped. My USB cable from my phone. Now we've mentioned the quad lock before so I can just take my phone off here and it has wireless charging so the cable goes into the quad lock and I had this uh, cigarette lighter thing and somehow I snapped it. Now I don't know how that's happened. This is like 12 days and it's been fine. So I have no idea what I just did. So I'm gonna have to find a, dig out another cable for this. I like the quad, the one that comes with the quad lock, it is waterproof. So I like that. And I do have another USB-C one that I could use, but I'm hoping, I got a feeling I had two that came with the quad lock. So we're gonna try and dig that out, but it's in the bottom of all of our stuff. So do we wanna do that now, Natalie, or? No. <laughs> John's saying yes, you're saying no. Oh, well, he's got spare. Is yours more handy? No, it's no more than that. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's have a drink and think about if we want to go digging through all this. That's a shame. doing Route 66 here is one of the obviously the one of the most popular attractions this is a uh, actually a statue of Glenn Frey from the Eagles because in their song take it easy uh, one of the lines in there is standing on a corner on Win in Winslow Arizona and this is by far the busiest place I think on Route 66 we've been um, <laughs> it's, it's ram packed here they've cl cl uh, closed the road off there's a guy playing guitar very well uh, there's police here and everything. But anyway, so if you do reach 66, you have to stop here. Uh, it's basically a, it's a must do. If you are here in Winslow, Arizona, and you come to stand on the corner, uh, it looks like this truck is here um, most of the year. I mean, it definitely drives. Tires are a bit cracked. But anyway, we're going to put a sticker on here so that you can come here and take your picture of the sticker and tag us. Okay. <laughs> there it is. We placed it. Woo! There is just coming, so many Brits here, which is strange. We've seen a few on the route, but they're all here. All of them are here. All of the British are here, guys. So this was, we we're just about to head off. We got an ice cream. We shouldn't have. <laughs> we got an ice cream. And then suddenly all these cool cars started rolling in. So they are doing a Route 66 rally for JDRF. Um, which is quite close to our hearts it because is. of our nephew was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 7. Yep. Hello Oakley. Uh, and so yeah, we did a whole bunch of fundraising stuff back in the day in the UK yeah. for JDRF. So that's quite cool, isn't it? I didn't know that. That's yeah. awesome. So they've all got these stickers on. It looks really good. There's, uh, there's a whole bunch all the way down the road. I'm going to say there's probably at least 30 cars here, but we're not going to go through them all because this is not about that. So we're going to head on 
Uh, I can't even remember where the next, oh, I know where it is. Wait, let's go there now. So Natalie, do you want to tell everyone where we are? Natalie, sorry. Let's get confused again. Confused you with them. Can you tell everyone where we are? There's some hole. Just a hole in the ground. Yeah, some hole in the ground. Not really sure. Oh, hold on, someone gave me this note. Meteor Crater and Baring Just Space Museum. Natalie, this is the place that basically could have like, you know, wiped out dinosaurs. Why? That's how important this is. Why? Well, let's go out there, find out, and then... Let we'll, them know. We'll tell you some facts off the top of our head. <laughs> We're in, Lawrence. I have special clearance. Jackie, take us out. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning. You're such a geek. Welcome back, Commander. We're going after those big so that was unexpected. <laughs> that was nice. What did you think of it? Uh, it was a nice massaging chair moment. Where am I going? <laughs> we're going to there first. No, let's go this way and see the actual crater. So as we walked in, there was this little movie. We didn't really know. We just walked in the room and it just started playing. Yeah, it was a bit random. It was 4D. Can you see, Lawrence? I can see the uh, mine shaft. <laughs> And it's got uh, the heavy machinery thing that they use to lift the, what do you call it, the winch. Oh, that's cool. It's 200 feet deep, apparently. Oh. Ooh. He was looking for the uh, actual meteor underground, so he went straight down in the middle. Did you find it? I don't think so. Because mm. I think it basically, when it hit the ground, it just blew up. But it was iron. It was mainly iron. Oh. Look how heavy that was. It's very heavy. Really heavy. Yeah. Start walking. Let's see if I can see down there. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> so the meteor actually came. It didn't hit the place dead center. It actually hit a slight angle going down this way from us to the other side. Uh, and it was mainly iron and it like weighed a tremendous amount, but it was only 150 feet wide, they think. Came straight down and uh, they spent years and years and years uh, trying to figure out where the meteor is and they found a lot of fragments. So they think when it hit, it just hit and then uh, just basically it was ice and iron and things like that and it just disintegrated. Um, but. I have read somewhere, it doesn't actually say it in this leaflet, but I'm pretty sure that this could have been the meteor that wiped out the uh, dinosaurs. But it was 55,000 years ago. So I don't know when the dinosaurs died out. Do you know, Natalie? I have no idea. She Why has no do idea. I know that information? <laughs> was, it, was it about a thousand years before this? We don't know. Anyway, it's spectacular, it's huge here. So the one thing is, we will warn you, it is expensive to get in, so we paid $25 a person, which uh, we um denied about, because um, that's pretty expensive, but uh, you can actually get a free guided tour. Uh, we won't have time to do that, because we'd have to wait an hour, and then it's, the tour is about an hour and a half. And then, uh, but there are other, four other observation decks. There's one up here, there's one down there, and I don't know where the other two are, so I'm wondering if there's a couple a bit lower down. But the movie thing was pretty cool. Uh, the facilities are lovely. <laughs> so, I mean, that $25 makes a difference. But yeah, there's a gift shop. There's loads of stuff to do around here. So I wouldn't say it's an all day thing, but I'd say you could spend a few hours here, that's for sure. Dinosaurs and became extinct 65 million years ago. Dinosaurs became extinct 65 million years ago. Well, it wasn't this one then, was it? What was this one? 55, I thought this was 55,000 years ago. So there oh. wasn't dinosaurs around then. No. Who told you that? that? I don't know, I thought I read it somewhere. <laughs> you know, I probably watched some YouTube video that I took for fact. Yeah. I read this in the leaflet, so the stuff I'm telling But the other true. interesting thing is, so at the bottom here, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there is a uh, mine, 
um, where they were looking for it and they still have the original equipment down there because they couldn't get it back out. Well, they probably could if they tried hard enough, but they didn't. And so there's a bit of a, there's a winch there um, so that they can winch all of their heavy materials down into the mine. Uh, the problem was that as they went lower and lower and lower, there was a lot of ice and stuff down there that had melted and it started to create quicksand. So oh. they had to stop. Cool. That was weird. Didn't expect that. Anyway, right. We've got one more thing to do today, I think, haven't we? Yep. Get you some mead, cheer you up. No, two. We've two got things. two more things to do. So let's get back to the bikes, geared up and we'll go. So there was a bit in there. I don't even think I got it on video, but there's a bit of fragment off the meteor. And uh, apparently it was on show and then it got stolen in like the 1950s. I can't even remember the date, but anyway, it got stolen. And then a real estate developer bought it from someone and just thought it was a really cool thing. Um, used it as a doorstop for years. And then in 2006, he was watching a program on meteorites and stuff, and he was like, hold on. I got and that. so, yeah, he was like, I reckon that's a bit of a meteor. So he uh, contacted these people and then he gave it back and it was on show in there. Nice. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, very cool. All right, let's go. Yep. We found a gem here. You have to come off the road uh, and then get back on the main highway because the road is just gone. But uh, I don't even know what this is. It says mountain lions and it's a proper old ruin. Uh, I don't know if it's some kind of zoo or what, but this is a uh, ruins. Oh, what's down here? Wow, there's loads of, there's loads of ruins up here. Like this is, really old this is i think this is actually there's a sign back there saying it's apache stuff um wow this is really cool so it's called two guns two guns so make sure you come off and check out two guns it'll take you five minutes worth of stuff so we're still at two guns there is actually a newer gas station here um that is I mean, covered in graffiti, which is such a shame. Do you know what? I don't mind some graffiti. I think it looks okay when it's like really artsy, but when it's just people spraying random stuff and tagging and stuff, it's just dumb. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone. It's just my point of view. Um, but yeah, so this gas station can't be that old. There's some two by fours and stuff here that haven't right away. So what do you reckon, John? How old? 10 years. How, long, how old? 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, I'd say like 20, 20 years probably, um, but it's kind of cool. So it's actually really hot here today. It's very strange because a couple of days ago we weren't that far from here and it was in the 50s. Now we're here where it's in the 80s and it's creeping up to 90. So uh, we're making the most of the shade right now and drinking some water. Uh, one thing we forget, it's dry heat here and you don't really feel like you need to drink, but you really, really do. <laughs> We've been very dehydrated and we're trying our best to keep drinking, which is a problem with space in the bikes because uh, we have all of our stuff but we've managed to clear some space and buy a whole crate of water and managed to jam it in around things so if you're doing this remember to drink or you're going to feel very very rough so i thought as we're touring this i may as well you know give you a tour of the graffiti whilst we're here something does look quite cool i'm going to be honest but uh yeah there's some amazing things here people have written their you know most inner secrets and things for example this guy here loves penis for you buddy from rotting body flowers shall grow and i in, am in them and that is eternity aaron has drawn a uh, self-portrait is this art no dude it's not it's a very very bad language here so uh this little symbol there I used to draw that on my school books a couple of years ago. So this, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't want it in my house or anything, but that's artistic. Whereas, you know, some of the stuff just is not. It's very disappointing. Xena puppy princess warrior was here. No one cares. I don't even know who you are. I'm giving it a five out of 20. Or well, maybe that's 20th of May. I don't know. It's all very gross as well. I'm, I'm struggling to find stuff I can even show on camera. 
come on it. It's all here for you as long as you... What? As long as you... He doesn't say. He didn't finish it. If there is light, then I'm going to swallow it. If there is a god, then I'm going to make him cry. S. Osborne. We've been careful about where we've put stickers, but I don't care here because there is so much disgusting stuff here. Is there? Yeah, I've been trying to show some of the graffiti on camera, but it's, uh, I can't really show any because it's all too rude. Oh, lovely. Well, there's some cool stuff and then there's rude stuff like written on it. So um, where would you like to put the sticker? Would you, you like to put it? we should tag ourselves here? Probably not, but if anyone swings past, I want them to take a picture with it and then they can put it on Facebook and stuff. I'm sure someone will come be our sticker hunt. over it. Should we put it right in the middle of this space? Yeah. Because I think uh, there's nothing too rude here. All right, do it. Slap bang. Boom. Mr. Happy Face has got a nose. If you're here at Two Guns, come on out, check out the sticker, take a picture, upload it, send it to us for the grand prize of absolutely nothing except for the fact that you have been where we've been that's fun isn't it yeah right we're definitely going somewhere now we didn't plan this stop so let's go well here we are at one of the icons of route 66 or half the icon because the other one has fallen down now this whole area is called twin arrows there is a twin arrows casino and resort there is a twin arrows roadway signs there is a twin arrows gas station and one of them has fallen down and uh i mean this, i'm hoping this is going to be one of those points in history where we can say we were there when there was just a single arrow and i'm hoping they're gonna rebuild this or put it back up um people are honking us <laughs> i don't know if you heard that um, and I hope they do something with this, but I have been reading up on some of the groups online that they're not going to do anything with this and the people who own it just don't care about it. They're just leaving it. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I think, what do you think, Natalie? Should they fix it or should they leave it as an icon it is? No, they should fix it. They should fix it. Yeah. I, I agree with you. They should. I wonder how much it's worth. We could all chip together and buy it and restore it. All right, so Natalie, on the old gas pump here, the old classic gas pump. This is really cool, by the way, if anyone's mm. into like engineering and stuff, you'll, you'll enjoy this. I'm not gonna go through it, but the old handle is still there. Come on then, Natalie, where are you putting it? Yeah, I'm putting it right here. If anyone's here at the Twin Arrows, come find our sticker. It's on the gas pump. Take a photo, tag us, you know the deal. Right. I thought I'd just come over and explore the old building here. There's some, uh, wow. I'm not gonna go in because it looks like the roof is falling down. What is this? That's the old power box. Also watching out for snakes. I'm just gonna help someone out here. If anyone knows where Pepe is, uh, can you let him know please? Someone's looking for him. Got garage doors there. it has been a workshop or something here. Well, I'm gonna poke my head in here so that you can have a look around, but I'm not going in there, that's for sure. it for now we are going to go on find our hotel you don't care about that it's nothing special if we see anything on the way then i will upload it but if not thank you for watching uh, here's a video we think you'll like don't forget you can subscribe and uh, hit the bell button for free or you can hit the join button and become a brazier and support a couple of tits i'm probably going to upload some of the graffiti from the last place in that in the members area it's not for everyone's eyes and thank you to everyone below for supporting us we really do appreciate it and we will see you next week